Fred Van Fleet, aka Federico, deserves to be an all-star this year and in today's video I'm going to show you guys exactly why through another banging film breakdown. Now if you guys agree that Freddy should be an all-star, make sure to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button, but without further ado, let's hop in the film room and see why Steady Freddy deserves to be in Cleveland come February. I'll see you guys after. Peace. Fred Van Fleet is an absolute shooter and this year he is lighting it up from deep and I'm not talking a little candle type lighting up, no, I'm talking dumping the whole damn propane tank on a bonfire type light up as he is shooting 41% from 3. But anyway, as you are seeing on screen, the first way Steady Freddy likes to get off his 3 ball is in transition when the defense has to worry about an abundance of possibilities and cutters. Now in the half court, if you are trying to double any of his teammates he's gonna make himself available and knock down the open look here we're gonna see it right here freeze it Siakam gets doubled all right clearly the mans aren't reading the scouting report because Freddie is a shooter and he is wide open all right and he's gonna knock that down majority of the time now if I'm the coach I'm benching that dude's ass come on bro you cannot be leaving a shooter like steady Freddie wide open but anyways as we're gonna see here Fred Van Fleet makes it so that Siakam and other guys like Scotty Barnes cannot get doubled and that is gold. Fred Van Fleet is barely 6 feet tall so you already know he's gotta have a rude pick and roll game and boy does he ever. Now I'm gonna show you 3 options when using the pick and roll. First off we got option 1, hitting the roller. Whether it's veteran Kem Birch, rookie Scotty Barnes, Siakam or Mr. Precious Achua, you better believe Frederico is gonna get all of his dogs open with some easy looks. This is a perfect example of why Van Fleet is an all star. Not only is he averaging 22 points but he is leading a young group of men and making everyone better. Now Van Fleet's second option in the pick and roll is of course a deep three ball. With such a quick release and Steph like range it becomes almost impossible for a power forward or center to challenge Freddie's shot. The last option is a mid range jumper and the math on this one is pretty simple. If the big gets switched onto Freddie well he takes his time laces the ball and elevates for a buttery soft jimmy. Next up, if one of your big men gets switched onto Freddy early in the shot clock, there is a 99.9% .9 chance he's going to turn into Frederico and have a nice dance with a slower and more clumsy big man. Now, of course, this specific segment doesn't really have anything to do with why Freddy is an all-star, but honestly, who doesn't love seeing bigs on skates? I know I do. And to be honest, this is just who Fred is. He's an undersized point guard in a league full of gifted athletes but he's just so damn skilled that it doesn't matter. Now, if you guys haven't yet, make sure to go vote for Fred Van Fleet in the East backcourt. Next up, Freddie V has come a long way with this Raptors organization and it is truly inspiring to see him grow as a young man and become the leader he is today because nothing was ever handed to him. At the age of five, Fred had to deal with the murder of his father, fast track to college when he was overlooked by all of his home state colleges and then in the 2016 draft he didn't even get picked up by anyone. Instead of hanging his head and calling it quits, Fred joined the Raptors 905 in the G League, busted his ass off and the rest is history. The 6 foot guard from Rockford, Illinois is now an NBA champion, soon to be all-star and leading his team with over six and a half assists per game. And oh yeah, he signed an $85 million deal that's going to change his entire family's life forever. The most underrated aspect of Van Fleet's game is hands down his defense. Now for all you Raptors fans out there, of course you already know this, but I'm talking to all you folks out there that don't watch the Raptors on a nightly basis. Now you might be thinking, well Wiseman, how the hell is a 6 foot guard going to be nice on defense? Well I'm trying to show you so just hang tight. Now just like CP3 and Kyle Lowry, Freddie has super quick hands when it comes to the defensive end and his stats prove it with over 1.5 steals per night which puts him amongst the top 10 in the entire league. Now lastly, his hometown is called Rockford. Alright now this dude is an absolute rock, if you try and post him up it's not gonna work.
To all my hoopers out there 6 to and under, you have got to love Fred's ability to get to the rack. Van Fleet is in my opinion the best undersized guard at getting layups off and it's because of his attention to detail. Firstly, he initiates a little contact with his defender to knock them off balance, but then he also finishes around weak side help where he stretches out his shooting arm and puts the ball high off glass where it cannot be blocked, an extremely underrated skill that real hoopers know about. Last but not least, Frederico is unleashed when it matters most. Yes, that's right, the man with the freshest hairline in the league is also a savage when it comes to clutch buckets. Just last week against the Utah Jazz, the man scored 17 points straight with 24 total in the quarter and a triple double to leave his team back from a monster deficit. If that isn't worthy of an all star appearance within itself, then I don't know what is. Now that almost wraps it up for today's breakdown but if you guys enjoyed make sure to smash the like button and hit that subscribe button to help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers i really do appreciate it my whole life is centered around basketball so i'm trying to connect with as many hoop fans as possible and create the number one basketball community here at better through ball on the internet now last but not least go vote for freddie in the east backcourt i'll see you guys after peace Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed today's film breakdown on Steady Freddy, Mr. Fred Van Fleet, Rockford's finest. What do you guys think? Will Steady Freddy make the All-Star game? Does it depend on where the Raptors seed in February? They're currently at 8th overall. All right, that could change. They got some back-to-backs coming up, but honestly, without Fred Van Fleet, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I live in Toronto, like I've been following the Raptors. I don't think the Raptors would be anywhere near a playoff contending team. Now, of course, they got Siakam. He's been balling since he came back from injury. And Fred Van Fleet is just really getting the most out of everyone. All right, Scotty has been in and out of the lineup. However, the consistent theme has been Fred Van Fleet's leadership. And honestly, I got to show this guy love because the media does not give the Raptors enough attention. And Fred Van Fleet, on God, he's been balling. All right, 20. 22, 5, 6 and a half assists, shooting 41% from three with the second most threes attempted per game. Like this guy right now, I'm not saying he's better than Curry, but he is shooting better than Steph Curry. So get this guy in the All-Star game. Share this video with your boys. Hype him up. All right, let's get Freddie into the All-Star game. My name is Wiseman. This has been Better Through Ball. I'll see you guys after. Oh yeah, make sure to like this video, subscribe, try to make Better Through Ball the number one basketball fan page on the internet. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.